Yo, when you click like, it helps me help my daughter. Maximus T with 25 bucks. I'm 23, quitting my job to lie my way into a car sales <laughs> job. You've gone over the routine. You've gone over the routine. Uh, any tips you have for things you need to know uh, in the biz going in? Also, how do you dress to work at a luxury dealership? Um, a luxury dealership? Uh, navy blue suit, white shirt, good, uh, good boots, um, good shoes. Mm. That's, that's the look. That's the, the passive look. The navy blue suit, white shirt will work fine. Uh, white shirt, no tie, button, to top button. Maybe a pocket square, Snakes. maybe a good fit. Stay light. Navy blue, white's going to get you there. Um, don't, don't get caught in a lie. Like, you know, you know what I mean? Lie, but be careful. Um, cowboy hat. Yeah, but yeah. Co you got co 10 gallon cowboy hat, 357 Magnum uh, pointed right at the guy. <laughs> D double gun holsters underneath the arms. That's uh, sick. Buy your clothes on eBay. Just another tip. Any of you guys, uh, you want fancy clothes? Like, I used to like to wear like Cesare Adelini suits and fucking Italian suits and shit. They're expensive. I would buy them on eBay. And I would have them tailored by my Portuguese tailor. Nice. I would buy like whatever my suit size was. Do you know any cobblers? Yeah. I need, I, I need some work done. You need some shoes, shoes redone? Right on the side of my Portuguese tailor is a cobbler. And they're like Hell hipster yeah. dudes. They're like nice guys. They, yeah, they re I've had many Thomas? shows redone. Yeah. I've, I've redone sh shoes many times. All right, I'll hit you up. So um, eBay is a, is a gift. Um, I, Incotex Venezia pants is what I used to wear. And um, it's kind of easy because I, you know, I was fatter then. But uh, I would buy like Charles Terwitt shirts used in your size are good. You can buy them for like $15 a piece. Used 10, 20 bucks. Um, white, white and blue shirts exclusively. <clears throat> it's way easier, make your life easier. And then um, the suits. What the fuck are those goddamn suits? Hinkley. Hmm. Is it Hinkley? No, come on. Hinkley Yachts. I'm sorry, Hickey Freeman. I like Hickey Freeman suits. All right. Um, anywho, so these yellow tag Hickey Freeman suits are like, they're like a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks if you want. It's 600 bucks, 700 bucks. eBay, $50. You can find them. These are, these are full retail people. Like, the cat's out of the bag a little bit on the suit stuff. Sometimes you find someone making a mistake. And you can get, like, a yellow tag. I bought, like, yellow tags for, like, 90 bucks. And you get the whole suit for, like, like that. But two-button suits, not three-button. Um, and you can get them tailored. Um, but anyway, those, there's, like, five fancy suits. You find them on eBay. It's a nice, cheap way to get a nice uh, wardrobe for yourself for, like, 800 bucks. Where you, you look, you're going to look like a million dollars. You can go cheap. You can go Brooks Brothers shit. But uh, try to get, uh, you know, super... Super 110s, wool. Ryan with the 25, Nick. I like to finally make the plunge and get a decent watch, but not break the bank. Other than Rolex, what are some more affordable watches to look into? I like Grand Seiko. Um, I like Tissot, Tissot. Um, so. My buddy is uh, the, the blue Tudor. Um, I've found some, there's some Tudors that are pretty cool. Um, I like, I've seen some Grand Seikos for that are pretty respectable that I like. Check them out, eBay. eBay. I found a Grand Seiko last night that I was like, um, almost, it was like 350 bucks. It's a nice looking watch. Uh, I'm not really in, into watches like that much. I do watch Vukum. I do, I have a Milgauss. I've had a couple of uh, 1601s. I've had a couple, I've had like four bought and sold Rolexes along the way for a thousand bucks. I used to buy them cheap, the cheap fucking 1601s, which is the cheap, cheap. Um, I bought them for 1200 bucks, 1800 bucks, 2200 bucks. Um, but I've never paid retail. I've never bought a new one, even though I, supposedly that's how you make the most money. Um, I'm not, again, I'm not, I don't have a fucking ton of money. I don't have a fucking rich family lineage. I know you guys want to argue with me until you fucking purple. Trust me, I'm the only one in my family that has a Rolex. Yeah, I, I actually, I could never. Jakey's got one. Okay. Yeah. But you, but you, you know, no, no, I'm just saying, I've never, I never owned during, a watch. During times of peril, though, they, they dropped down to 1500 bucks. Oh, uh, so there was a big fluctuation with the... Yeah, like, oh, 09, 10, 11. Um, like, motherfuckers were just like, I need money! Oh, yeah, And yeah, they were yeah. like, yeah, take that thing off your wrist. Yeah. Give me that money. And then I, I would, and then I was the guy who needed the money. And I was like, I'll just take 300 profit, please! That's a class... Like, a watch is... Taking somebody's watch is a classic uh, collateral thing, I feel like. Yeah. Like, it's a trope. Oh, give me the watch. Uh, Are you late on the bill? What? If you're late on the bill, let me get that. Oh, let me see the watch, motherfucker. Yeah. Give it to me now. Sorry, sometime. Yeah. But I've had to sell things. I used to steal. No, I used to uh, pick up silver all the time, put it in a little bag. When times were tough, I would go trade it all in. I've been at pawn shops trading in silver with a mortgage and a wife. Like, yeah. I, it's not, I'm not above it, so. Why not Zoidberg with the 20? Nick, looking to propose to my girl here soon. Where can I get a nice ring? Mmm. Wish you get the ring? Yeah. Antique shops. Another fella bought his girl an antique shop on the stream. But his bought his girl's ring at an antique shop. I think the ladies. I mean, there's a. The, I don't know if you know Jet. 
There are over 12 ladies here tonight. Yeah. Yep. There are 12. I mean, we could be as high as 14 at this point. It's sickening. It's getting – I never thought we'd be this far. There is so much – there are so many hotties in here. Yeah. So many. And uh, I think the, 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 the common consensus is that they don't care about a fucking big fancy diamond. They don't yeah. want to you – know you know what's sadder than getting a big fancy diamond? Watching a guy that can't afford it try to play a game he shouldn't be playing for you, for your love. So any of you ladies expecting big diamonds out of there? How fucking yeah, okay? All you need to do to love me is show me something that you can't afford. For <laughs> that adds no fucking value to our relationship as yeah. a whole, but that can literally cripple us economically. Yeah. How much so, do people pay for? Uh, that's something I don't. Two know. months salary. That's the that's the you know the old saying. Yeah. Even if it's it doesn't matter. Even if it's, it should be an onion ring. It should hurt. It should hurt when you buy it. Yeah, you should. That's how you show what you love. That's how no. you know. That's one of the things from the old school that can stay in the old school. Go buy an antique ring from a fucking crusty ass dull, dead broke old lady. <laughs> Shut up, bitch. <laughs> Give me the fuck. Stop fucking around. No one's buying it. Shit's fucking ugly. What do you want for it? Twelve fifty. How many carrots is it? Psst. No, it's not. It's a mine cut diamond. Give me six no one wants... fifty. Yeah, I'll give you six fifty. Yeah. Six seventy five. <laughs> six twenty five. Final offer. You just said six fifty. You touched my pussy. My ATM limit's five hundred dollars. I'll be back tomorrow. God you... fucking damn it. Yeah, <laughs> give me the ring and I'll bring you let me give you a buck twenty five next week. I can only get five hundred out a day. It's if there's a limit what, you never been to an old uh, an ATM machine, you dumb fucking bitch. That's you're, <laughs> you're in the middle of an antique store negotiating with like a booth owning old lady. Mm. Mm-hmm. So, um, yeah, man, go to an old, yeah, but, uh, congrats on that. Yeah. 